The brewing controversy for Abercrombie and Fitch. Kirstie Alley now blasting the store, and she's not the only one. ABC's Rebecca Jarvis has the story. Good morning to you, Rebecca. That's right, Lara. We've been hearing from social media, and now Kirstie Alley. She had harsh words for Abercrombie overnight. Now a movement is underway to give the brand's clothing to the homeless. The backlash for the trendy clothing store Abercrombie and Fitch is reaching a fever pitch. Kirstie Alley now slamming the store and its controversial CEO in an exclusive interview with Entertainment Tonight. He says Abercrombie clothes are for people who are cool and who look a certain way and are beautiful and who are thin and, and blah, 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 blah. That would make me never buy anything from Abercrombie. Ali is the latest to weigh in on a growing controversy over the fact the apparel maker doesn't sell women's clothes above a size 10. Don't support. Don't support. On Monday, protesters gathered outside of an AF store in Chicago. The backlash also escalating on Twitter, Facebook, even on YouTube, where one popular poster started a Fitch the Homeless campaign, asking customers to rebrand the popular retailer by giving their Abercrombie clothes to the homeless. Abercrombie isn't commenting, but CEO Mike Jeffries once told Salon Magazine, a lot of people don't belong in our clothes, and they can't belong. Are we exclusionary? Absolutely. It's the whole mindset that sets up bullying. You're excluded, you're included. Part of the fallout began last week after we went inside Abercrombie's flagship store in New York City and revealed the retailer carries mostly double zeros and extra smalls and doesn't do XL or XXL for women. Andrea Neusner and her three daughters are sending back every piece of A&F they own. I wanted to let the company know how I felt about it. So she's put it all in a letter. Not only will I not let my kids shop at Abercrombie again, I will not let them wear what they already have in their closets. And neither will Kirstie Alley. And, and I've got two kids in that bracket that they will never walk in those doors because of his view of people. And business experts say this could actually become a big deal since 67% of consumers are plus size shoppers. The average woman's size in America is a 14 and the Abercrombie model as a result, could be going out of style, Lara. A big deal indeed. Thank you so much, Rebecca.